So you're a junior designer or trying to get a role as a junior designer and how do you get into the design industry? Well, that's what today's video is all going to be about. Now I'm going to level with you here. We are hiring for junior designer at the moment. We have had our job apps out for one week and we have had 538 applications. Uh, we've had to review every single one of these 538. We initially shortlisted this down to about 15 people and we've ended up only interviewing two of them. Now that is, seems like we're being overly picky, right? And I think the point of this video is lots of agencies are going through this. We want to hire, right? We are desperate for the talent. We're desperate to hire the right people. But the, the type of things that people are putting in their applications or in their portfolio is just wrong. And this is the whole point of this video, right? So please stay tuned to understand how that's going to work. Share this round. Use it as an application to, to get a job with us, right? I want to help people to get a job. Now, the first one is a fundamental one, just to start with, okay? Is uh, if you want to get a role in the design industry, pick what type of role you want. And what I mean by that is, are you branding? Are you print? Are you UX? Are you UI? Do you have web knowledge? Do you have any experience in any of these sectors? Just wanting to, hoping to get into these is not going to get you a foot in the door as a junior. Instead, you really need to decide what you want to do. And I'm going to move on later on in the video to explain why that is so key. But the fundamental thing to start with is if you want to get a job in the design industry as a junior, you must have at least an indication of the type of thing that you want to do. And that's because your portfolio needs to have some of that in there, okay? If you are applying for like our position, a UX or UI for like software, for you to be able to get a job in that industry, I do not want to see a portfolio full of logos. The two are redundant, they don't link. There's no indication of knowing how that you work and what's gonna go on there. And, and I think that's a really fundamental area just to consider to start with. And I appreciate this is really, really hard to do, but I would say when you're applying for, for jobs, choose a small number of them, maybe 10, and I really, really go to town on personalizing your portfolio for that. And this goes back to my first point. If you said, well, I want to do loads of web design, then that's great. Let's focus all of our portfolio on doing web design work. And then let's only apply for jobs where I'm going to be doing lots and lots of web design. If your portfolio and everything that you've got currently is very, very much in place, as I've just done branding, or I've done a little bit of everything, then you need to make a decision on what you're going to do there. Do you do go for the roles where you've got that job or do you try and pivot? Because if you try and get a job in a different area with no portfolio, in that space, you are going to struggle and it's really, really annoying for everyone involved. Which ties in with point two. If you wanna get a job, let's say as a web designer and you don't have anything in your portfolio, make something up, create the briefs yourself. Maybe take your favorite e-commerce store and fully redesign it using their photography and their logos and their branding colors. Or you may have seen the service that you tried to buy from that you don't think works particularly well. Redesign it. It might be that you get all your food from Gusto that comes and you decide to redesign the Gusto store. Um, all of this work needs to be self-initiated so you have some portfolio. Not having any experience in that sector or not having any experience and therefore no portfolio is not a valid reason not to have anything in your portfolio. And it just means it just shows that you're not really dedicated to getting a job in this space. If you, you know, I'm aware that you might be running another job and you're going to have to do this out of time, and you know, outside of work hours. And I think that's fine. Like, it just has to show the 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 director of this design agency really what you're about. So if you never worked in the industry, that's really not a problem. Come up with these projects, showcase them what there is. And I would even highlight it. Highlight to say, hey, I've never worked in the industry, but these are some self-led projects that I've come up with. That shows initiative, that shows passion, and that's what design agency owners want. That's how you're gonna get a job as a junior designer in the design industry with no experience. So that's a second takeaway. Third takeaway is if your CV doesn't have a lot of jobs that relate to it because you've never worked in the industry, that is okay. Do not worry, but try and make your CV sound like it's relevant. So for example, if you've only ever worked as a waiter in a, uh, in a restaurant, that's not a problem. That's where I first started as an example. But rather than just saying, hey, I worked in a restaurant, you know, I took, them, I took the money, I walked around taking orders, um, I delivered food and I was nice to people. Rather than just saying that, which is what I guess you could say, 
Instead, you could say it was a very customer focused role. And this is why I think it's going to work really well, because I can tell looking at your company that, you know, the level of service that you give is going to be really key. Or you might say, I'm really used to, you know, face to face uh, with clients when I worked in a restaurant. And that ties in really nicely to me feeling comfortable having to deliver presentations. Like you can see how anything that you've done in another job can be really, really related to the design of the industry. And that's what you have to consider. If you've just got these bullet points of things and roles that you did in another business, we need to think about them from a technical point of view or how can you slant them to be very design related? Whether it is just customer service, which is so important in the design industry still, and it gets massively overlooked, talk about it. So don't worry too much if your portfolio doesn't necessarily, uh, sorry, your CV doesn't necessarily show it. At the end of the day, we are looking at the CV, but we are looking at the portfolio and that ties in with the first two points that I'd already made. So there's three points on how to get a role in the design, uh, in the design world. Number four, um, show that you care, show that you care about this company, right? Like do me a cover letter that's genuinely about me as in not me as a person, but my company, make sure you've looked at it, maybe make some references to some of the work we've done. Have a look what Google News is saying about me. Is there anything relevant that you might kind of highlight? Can you look at some of the work that we've done and maybe go on one of the websites and highlight something that you really like about it? Just showing that you've done a little bit of additional research is a really, really easy way to stand out. As I mentioned at the start, we have over 500 applications, and I can tell you that seven people bothered to do that. So automatically out of those seven people, I'm gonna bother to look at your CV and your portfolio in a different light, right? I'm gonna view it in a far more positive way than if you just send me something generic. So just bother to have a look at it and really talk about that in the covering letter or update the CV to reference something around it. Um, all ties in to continue this. And if you have the time, record a video. Show me what you like on camera, have a little chat. You know, most design agencies now are remote. So seeing how you come across is gonna be another really, really good idea. Also shows that you care, you can talk a little bit about you, you can get your personality across. All of these things are gonna be really, really useful. And again, going back to these plus 500, not a single person recorded me a video, not a single person picked up the phone to see if there's anything else that they could be doing. We did obviously get these seven people who did really defined covering letters. But other than that, you know, there's nothing really. If someone had picked up the phone, spoken to me, recorded me a video, I don't know, sent me a cake. These are things that people have done in the past. You automatically stand out from the crowd, right? And that's what we should be really trying to do. I'm aware this usual video style isn't what I'd be doing, where I'd be sharing my screen, but I just wanted to be honest, right? Those, those really fundamental, fairly simple things that we could all be doing to just make our CVs and portfolios stand out. It's really just about getting your foot in the door in the design industry. Because once you've got some experience, it's fairly easy to move from agency to agency. It's the initial bit of work that's really, really. And I hope that's useful. If you wanna drop your portfolio link into a comment, please do, I will look at it. I will comment back if you want me to. I can be kind or I can be realistic, let me know. If you wanna apply for our jobs, I will also put that link down in the bottom here for you to have a look at in your own time. And if you've got any comments on other things that you think have worked really well to get you a job, let me know. Or if there's just things that you're struggling with and you want a genuine, honest opinion, bang the link in there and we'll see if we can have a look at your portfolio or we can get back to you via a comment on maybe how things could improve. Uh, good luck, guys. Check out some of my other videos that you can see here. We're all around the design industry. So have a look there and we'll speak soon.